everyone. You've probably heard the word coronavirus or COVID-19 floating around. And what that means is there's a, a new virus that's moving around the world. And we're here to talk today about the word physical distancing, or you may have heard social distancing. I have my friend, Dr. Lim here, and Dr. Lim is, works in the children's emergency at Children's Hospital. Dr. Lim, what can you tell us about the word physical distancing? What does that mean? Yeah, that's a great question. So we know that, that this is a new infection uh, that people can spread, uh, and we need to stay a safe distance apart so that uh, if we were to, uh, if someone were to sneeze or to cough or whatnot, uh, it, it would be a safe, we would be safe from them. So normally, you know, we'd go up and we'd be much closer, you could see your friends or whatnot, but right now it's super important to stay, just to kind of stay this distance apart from your friends so that everyone can be safe. So right now we're, we're about a hockey stick apart. Yeah, about an adult hockey stick. An adult hockey stick apart. And that's really important to stop germs from moving from me to you, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. So if I feel like I have to sneeze. Yeah, that's oh. uh, that was quite the you sneeze. Know, I see that my germs flew everywhere, but they didn't quite get as no. far as you. No, I'm a safe distance apart, so the germs didn't touch me. So that's good. So that means physical distancing can work. Then. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So physical distancing can work. Why, what's the goal? What are we trying to do? Why are doctors and the government teach, telling us that we need to not go to school and not see our friends and not go to the park? Yeah, that's a good question. So a lot of this has to do with that. No one has really had this virus before. It's a new one. Uh, so all of us can get it and can get sick. If we all get sick at the same time, too many of us will go to the hospital at the same time and we can't take care of everyone at the same time. So by doing this, we can flatten the curve, we can, we can spread out the time that people, different people get it, and that will be much, much safer for all of us. Okay. So thanks, Dr. Lin. That was a really good explanation of, of why we're doing this. But, you know, I'm finding it hard and I'm sure lots of the kids at home are finding this challenging. So what are some things that we can do to stay connected even though we're physically apart? Yeah, so that's an excellent point. Sometimes we call it social distancing, but we should call it physical distancing because it's important more than ever to reach out electronically or in new ways um, to, to our friends and people so that we still feel connected. It's very hard to be, to be alone right now. Uh, so we really need to reach out. And it's even more important to reach out to maybe people who don't have a lot of friends or don't have a lot of family who reach out to them because it must be very lonely for them right now. For sure. And you know, sometimes I feel worried or I feel nervous about what's gonna happen or how long this is gonna last. And it's important for us to talk about those worries. So um, I would encourage all the kids watching to talk to your parents, talk to your caregivers or your grandparents, whoever's at home with you, and try to find some answers. There's lots of good information available and um, it's better when you work together. Absolutely.